how can you record Minecraft in 360 degrees and play it back on YouTube? Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. You may have seen some 360 videos floating around YouTube. You can view these in a few different ways. If uh, on YouTube, you can just click and drag the video around to see all 360 degrees, or you can use a VR viewer and look around inside of the video that way. Now, how do you record it in Minecraft? Well, we're actually going back and checking out an old mod, the replay mod, to do this. So let me show you how to do it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the replay mod is installed. We actually cover the replay mod in depth in a previous OMG craft. So if you want to learn how to set your keyframes and all of the features that are built into replay mod, you really should watch that video first. Once you have a replay recorded, you're going to go to your replay viewer and choose one of your replays. So here we are inside of this replay. You can see me moving around and we're not going to do anything crazy difficult, like follow the character everywhere he goes. What we're going to do, let's go ahead and hit pause, is we're going to set a position keyframe and a time keyframe right at the beginning. Let's choose a good time to start, maybe around two seconds. And then we will move our playhead forward. Sorry, this is going to be the time keyframe. So let's set that. Then we're going to move our playhead forward to around a minute and 20 seconds and then do the same over here. Remember, we started with two seconds. So we'll have to add a minute and 20 seconds onto that. So a minute and 22 is where we are going to end up and set a position and a time keyframe. So we'll see our character over here move all around us and eventually we'll be able to click and drag the video around to see any perspective we want. Now we're going to click the render camera path option here. And by default, these are the settings and you're going to want to change this to equal rectangular rendering. I think I said that right, which it says the pop up says it will record in 360 degrees. So go ahead and click that you'll notice that your resolution turns red. We need to set this to a 4K resolution, otherwise the resolution will be too low. When you're deleting characters out of this, realize that there always needs to be one character, so I can't actually delete that one. So when we add our numbers, I'm gonna have to go in and delete that last digit, or the first digit, technically, uh, after I add it. So the number that you're gonna be adding is 4320. And we'll go click to the beginning and delete that one by 2160. And that is a 4K resolution. Once we delete that, you'll notice that the numbers turn white, letting you know that you have chosen the correct resolution. You can change the frame rate if you want. Realize this is 4K, so it may take a little bit more horsepower to render out this video. Next, I want to go down to advanced settings and choose this inject 360 metadata. Go ahead and click that. Then you can choose your output file path. Let's uh, put it in documents and we will call this OMG craft and hit save. Then you're going to go ahead and render this. It will take a little bit of time. You can see on my computer with only a minute and 20 seconds, it'll probably take around five minutes once all said and done. So let's let this render. So now the video has fully rendered and you can open the file, the folder that the file is in and upload that to YouTube. I've already gone ahead and done that with the file that we recorded. It's right here so that you wouldn't have to wait through the process and upload times of that. Uh, and it's pretty awesome. Go ahead and click play and I can move the camera around wherever I want it to go and watch myself move around in the game now uh and of course you can skip through and skip back and do absolutely everything you want to do there is another feature though that we should cover and that is that you can do 3d 360 video all in one so what you're going to have to do is when you render this out instead of choosing the option that we chose before choose ods rendering so this will do 3d and 360 all in one we're going to have to change the resolution again to 30 
38 40 uh, by 38 40 it's going to be 38 40 in each of these fields 38 40 there you go and now you can see that the uh, the resolution has set itself to the correct thing and you would render that and then over on YouTube you're going to make sure to click that this is a 3D video as well. So uh, some really, really nice stuff built into the replay mod in order to get 360 degrees of viewing pleasure. And of course, if you want to add extra things like cuts in the video or music underneath or any sort of titles or text, you're going to have to do that in a different program. Some programs are out there to edit 360 degree uh, video and uh, we're not gonna get into that here, but you would have to use a separate program for that. Um, and also, if you are going to be viewing it in uh, 3D, 360 degree, you obviously need some sort of 3D glasses, probably those red and cyan glasses that look super duper cool when you wear them. Uh, that wraps it up for this episode of OMG Craft. I hope you enjoyed it. All the links to everything that I talked about are in the description below. Make sure you click subscribe to catch future episodes. It's free, so just go ahead and click it so you're notified whenever I upload another video. Hit that bell if you want to be notified and leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye!